What's up, folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys had an awesome holiday season and wish you all the best of luck for the year of 2022. Now, for the past uh, couple of days, I've been testing out a product that is going to be extremely helpful, especially this time of year when everything around the house is super messy after the holidays. And I've always wanted uh, a robot that can help me clean and tidy things up around the house. Unfortunately, we can't get the Tesla bot since that doesn't exist yet, but we can get almost something as good. Specifically, the Roborock S7, which has the unique ability to both vacuum your house as well as mop your floors at the same time. An exclusive feature that's not available on any other cleaning robots. Now, how it works is that the Roborock S7 has a mop plate that will uh, scrub your floors up to 3,000 times per minute using its sonic motor technology and it'll actually sense what kind of surface it's on so when it detects carpet coming up ahead it will actually raise that mop plate stop the jets from firing increase the power output of the vacuum to clean your carpet effectively we're going to go through the ins and outs of the s7 and uh, before we do that, we're gonna go through the initial setup process. When you first get the robot, all you need to do is find a designated spot of where the robot and charging dock will live. The Roborock S7, like many cleaning robots, is a self-docking system, so it'll automatically go back to the charging dock once it's done cleaning. To set up the robot, you need to get your iOS or Android smartphone and download the Roborock app and connect your home Wi-Fi address to the robot itself. The setup process is pretty simple and straightforward once you have a wi-fi connection to your robot and you're ready to clean you want to make sure your room is relatively tidy there's no loose cables or small items lying around that will get caught underneath the robot and uh, the first thing that the robot will do when it initiates a clean for the first time is map out the perimeter of your space whether that's a single room or your entire house using its built-in 360 degree lidar scanner located at the top of the robot that you can see spinning around around really fast, it will actively create a virtual map of your living space. The really cool thing is if you look at the app, you'll actually see the LiDAR scanner in action, making a real time virtual map of your space. Now, once you have your virtual map created, you can customize it in a number of different ways. You can separate by room if you have an open floor plan, as well as a uh, create no-go zones and invisible walls if you don't want the robot to fall downstairs and things like that. You can also have no mop zones. As we mentioned earlier, the robot has the ability to detect carpeted surfaces as well as hard surfaces, so you can make those adjustments very accurately and accordingly to what the robot has actually sensed in your space. Beyond that, you can also control the level of intensity of your vacuuming as well as mopping capabilities. So you can have specific areas that require a little bit more cleaning because they get dirtier quicker than other areas. And all this is done fairly easily by drawing uh, the specific areas that you want to customize and make those changes accordingly. Furthermore, you can also map additional floors thanks to the multi-level feature of the app. You can simply walk the robot up or down the stairs to map and clean that specific floor and then save it within the app's memory. Now, Roborock claims that the battery life is a good for up to three hours of runtime, probably in their quiet, most efficient mode. Based on my experience using the robot in kind of the medium power setting, specifically in balance mode, I got up to two hours of clean time, which was good enough to clean two stories in a three-story, 5,000-square-foot house. Now, if you're interested in scheduling your cleaning sessions, you have a number of different options. You can keep it simple by cleaning the entire house at a specific time every day, or you can add more specific commands. For example, you want a bedroom to clean at a specific time versus your living room at another time. You want your floors to be mopped up at this time and then vacuumed at another time. And essentially, you almost have an infinite variety of a different option when it comes to scheduling and setting up your cleaning cycles. Now, the machine learning predictive algorithm that the Roborock S7 uses is actually very advanced. I was surprised to see that in pretty much every scenario you can think of, you can kind of get out, continue cleaning, and I never found it stuck in any position whatsoever, even in extremely challenging circumstances. So the robot is extremely reliable and is definitely very, very self-dependent, which is uh, unlike many of the other uh, robotic vacuums that I've tested in the past. Certainly technology has come a long way in terms of artificial intelligence. 
In addition to the obstacle avoidance system aided by the LiDAR scanner, you also have a front articulating a bumper that will allow the robot to gently nudge and go as close as possible to neighboring walls, furniture, or any other ground fixtures without any damage or incident. Now in terms of the physical parameters of the robot, it measures around 35 centimeters in terms of diameter, has a height of 9.6 centimeters, which isn't the most lowest profile, but it's enough for it to get under most things that you're not going to get to with a traditional vacuum. The button interface is relatively simple. You only have three buttons, a spot or child lock, a power or clean button, as well as home button to go back to the charging dock. On the other side, you have the top cover that will unhinge to reveal the Wi-Fi indicator light, a small reset button, as well as the main 470 milliliter dustbin. Now inside the dustbin, you obviously have all the dust and debris that's captured by the robot, as well as the washable air filter. Now importantly, the Roborock S7 that we have on review does not come with the self-emptying base. That allows you to basically empty out uh, the dustbin automatically within the base itself. That is either a separate $300 attachment or it comes with the S7 Plus, which retails for around $950 compared to $650 for the standard S7. Now the water tank for the mopping jet is located on the back edge of the robot. You wanna specifically put only water in here, nothing with soap or any kind of cleaning solution that will degrade or corrode the inside of the robot. On the business end or bottom side of the robot, you have a number of things going on including a rubber brush designed for edge sweeping. You also have six cliff sensors around the perimeter of the robot designed to help it from falling down steps or other vertically challenging situations. You also have the carpet sensor that we mentioned earlier. Now the main vacuuming brush is all rubberized which has a number of different benefits including durability, better cleaning performance, as well as less likelihood for hair getting tangled within the brush itself. Hair does get tangled within the metal rod that mounts the brush to the actual robot itself, but it's fairly easy to access that rod for cleaning purposes, which should be done periodically after several cleaning cycles. Now the vacuum itself is rated for 2,500 pascals. Traditionally, most robot vacuums are around 1,000 to 1,500, so it's definitely more on the powerful side, which is definitely a good thing. Now, just to give you an example of what kind of power rating you need, for a uh, general carpet cleaning, you at least need 1,500 pascals and 500 for solid hard surfaces, such as hardwood or tile, to get a good clean. So we're definitely covered there in terms of sucking power on uh, the Roborock S7. Now, you can adjust the power output of the vacuum, either in quiet, balance, or super turbo, high-performance mode and obviously uh, your battery life and overall loudness of the vacuum will vary depending upon those settings. Now the mopping plate is very simple to install either right side up or upside down and it's attached to a microfiber mopping cloth with velcro that is fully washable reusable either in the washing machine or hand wash so you could easily get more of these uh, mopping cloths or just use one continuously until it wears out but really on that guys that's really it. definitely love to know what you guys think of the roborock s7 now uh, the only kind of feature that i would like to see on it that I've seen other vacuums employ is a, a mobile security camera. Now you do have a, a remote control built into the app so you can actually manually move it around the house which is pretty cool but how cool would it be to actually use it as a moving security camera a feature that's available on some other higher end vacuums kind of within the, this kind of price range. Now uh, obviously uh, there's a lot of other uh, vacuuming robots out there. I would definitely love to know if you guys want to see how the S7 compares against a popular uh, Roomba vacuum or any other uh, brand uh, you guys specifically are interested in. So if you want to see that kind of video and comparison, definitely let me know. Definitely like to thank Roborock for giving us the opportunity to review the S7. And if you haven't done so already, check out the description down below for more details about everything we've talked about. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.